What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. You know, throughout my career and certainly throughout my time here at Next Level Riding Clinics, I've, I've kind of lived by a couple of things and that's we're not going to practice until we get it right. We're actually going to practice until we can't get it wrong. And I hope that those are words that really sink into all of you that are trying to learn how to ride. The other thing is what life would be like or what the backcountry would look like if snowmobiling became a feeling. So today we're going to talk about snowmobiling becoming a feeling. Let's do it. Okay, so turning snowmobiling into a feeling. And really what I mean by that is when I'm out riding, I've done this for a long time. I do it as a hobby. I do it as a business owner. I do it as a coach. I love teaching riding clinics, but being out there and riding, when I'm not having to tell myself where to be on the running board, I'm not telling myself how much throttle I need or when I need to use the brake or what I should be looking at as I'm creating a line in front of me. And it's because it's all a feeling, right? When you understand all of the fundamentals, everything that it takes to position a snowmobile properly in the backcountry, it's a feeling. And you guys can only imagine what that unlocks for every one of us. You get out here, you're in fresh snow. Heck, you get out here and there's a ton of tracks. Imagine getting that confidence, having snowmobiling become that feeling to where your backcountry is just open. You can just go and point and shoot and go anywhere. That's gotta be awesome. So today we're gonna talk about a few of these fundamentals that are gonna start to get us locked in, build some tools for the toolbox and start making snowmobiling a feeling. All right, so in the immediate, guys, we have had plenty of discussions about our finger on the brake, hand on the throttle, being able to blip the throttle when we need to, and then applying that brake so that our sleds are in total control. Remember that I don't necessarily need my sled to ever coast to a stop, and it's because I have a brake. The moment I need that sled to do what I need it to do, and then I need it to stop, I'm gonna do that by applying brake. All right, so next up, and we've had plenty of videos, plenty of conversations, again, about our foot position. Remember that if we're gonna to start to make snowmobiling a feeling, I've gotta have complete and total control of where my feet are on the snowmobile, whether I'm in the neutral position, whether I'm in this sort of water ski position, knees bent, seat, uh, applying my knees into the sink and or into the console or the gas tank and or from neutral over to that opposite foot forward. If you need to refer back to those videos, we can talk about the brake, when to use it, blipping the throttle, side hilling 101, all of those videos are very helpful in terms of positioning on the sled. Okay, tether on. So with those positions, guys, we're gonna, we're gonna show, I'm gonna show some technique here of just simply putting my sled on edge and we're doing this basically in a parking lot, flat ground. If we can't perform these, and lock these in, again, practice until we don't get it right, I'm gonna continue to practice until I can't screw this up. And this is all I'm telling you to do. I'm in my neutral position, make that hop to opposite foot forward, quick counter steer, my shoulders and my hips in the direction I wanna go, flip with the throttle, and then back on the brake while I step out. Three, two, one. I'm on hard ground, right? So I can support the sled. But the idea here is to find that balance point of the machine. I want it to be in that spot. Once I find that spot, whoop, it's on the running board, bring it back some, and watch this. Something that simple and doing it over and over and over again is gonna to start to create snowmobiling as a feeling. All right, so here we are. You can see behind me, got some fresh snow, pretty steep slope right here. I'm gonna show you guys, and I wanted to talk about it first, about how we just went from kind of dialing in, gaining some confidence with setting our sled on edge and doing that in a parking lot, basically. So now we're going to apply that exact same technique, again, doing it over and over so we build confidence to a hillside. What's so unique about snowmobiling is once I adapt that skill set of setting my sled on edge and getting comfortable with that, I can go from doing it on flat ground to doing it against these hills. Ok, 
Okay, so I know we've done this stuff before guys, but I'm just wanting to continue to reiterate that as we practice this stuff, the technique both, both left and right, it didn't change, right? The confidence level and me doing it over and over and over again is what changes it. My ability to do a turn out on flat ground and just do that until I can't get it wrong. Every part of that translates into what I'm doing on the hillside. You can tell from my sled that I'm not going fast. I'm just positioning the sled. I mean, we're on relatively a steep hill right here. I'm not stuck and it's because I've positioned the sled into this side hill to where I can go again. You can see that my front end is kind of positioned downhill. Every bit of that is the same dang stance. Okay, so we're in that same spot, right? Just like we were on flat ground. You can see that I've initiated my sled on edge. I'm opposite foot forward. For now, my foot that's on the running board is pretty far forward, right? I can kind of lift up and feel the toe loop. So I'm pretty far forward. As I go, I've already completed what I want to get done with the sled. So now it's just about body weight and stepping down with this foot. As I continue to go with the sled, I continue to step down and watch the sled position itself into that left side side hill. Finger on the brake, applying brake when I need it. When would I need it? When I don't want to go any further. Giving it some gas and stepping it down. On the brake, back off the brake. On the brake, back off the brake. Look at my sled just coming down, coming right into that side hill position. My shoulders and my hips in the same direction I started. If we can lock that in, guess what? Snowmobiling is becoming a feeling. All right, so we've been, we've been having a blast today. You guys can tell it's a powder day. A little bit tough to film, but man, we're enjoying ourselves. We have been exploring terrain, riding around, using those techniques, just like we are using on flat ground. And I finally found this one that I think will be a great finisher for the video today. And you guys remember a couple years ago, I did the, the how-to of like the downhill 180, being able to get into some deep snow, a steeper hill, no longer on flat ground, but applying the exact same technique. So getting opposite foot forward, once I've set the sled, moving that foot towards the rear of the snowmobile, lots of power, shoulders and hips, and then back up the hill. So I think we'll finish this video. There were some talks about guys wanting, instead of it broke down, actually just show the move. So to finish this video as part of snowmobiling becoming a feeling, I'm gonna do the downhill 180 and we'll see you guys next time. Uh-huh. <laughs>